Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video about landing crafts you can get in Warframe. Well, landing crafts are not even remotely useful on the larger scale of things in Warframe. It is nice to have a little personal style just before you start the mission on your loading screen. There are 6 landing crafts in total, Lisset, which you get as the start, Mantis, Nightwave, Parallax, Scimitar and Zephos. Getting these landing crafts may be quite a hassle, so you may buy them on the market if you wish, but I do not recommend it since they are almost purely aesthetic and don't really bring much to the table, game-wise. I think it is very important to point out as well that the different landing crafts only change the outside appearance of the ship. The inside will always stay exactly the same. But yeah, let's now look at how to get every single one of them. Okay, so, Lisset, as I said before, you get it at the start of the game, so nothing to talk about here. Every other landing craft is craftable in your foundry. You may get the blueprint for every single landing craft in the market for credits. The blueprint for every single ship requires three pieces, avionics, fuselage and engines, which you need to farm up. And let me say, you will not have a good time if you really want to farm these things up. Let's look at Skimitar next. Every single piece you need to craft comes from a different enemy. Avionics blueprint comes from Zanuka Hunter and not the normal Zanuka. The drop chance is about 17.65%, which is not that high, so be sure to use Necros or any other loot frame. The fuselage blueprint comes from Vem Tabuk of Grustrak 3 and the drop chance is about 12.5%. Also use Necros or any other loot frame. And the last piece, the engine's blueprint, comes from the Stalker with 1% drop chance, so quite low. Craft the pieces and craft the landing craft with a 3 day building time. Fun! The second landing craft you can acquire is Mantis, pieces of which can only be found in rare containers. Rare containers have a 5% spawn chance in a mission, they emit a similar sound to the rare sabotage caches, a silent hum. To get the fuselage blueprint you need to find a rare corpus container and destroy it with 30% drop chance of the blueprint. For the engines you need to destroy the rare grenier container with it also a 30% drop chance. Just be sure not to look for the rare grenier containers on Earth, the containers there don't actually contain the mantis part. Anywhere else it is good, just not Earth. And the last blueprint for avionics can be found in the rare orokin containers with the listen to this 100% drop chance. Insane, right? The rare orokin containers can only be found on Lua and in the void, so be sure to look there. The third landing craft is called Zephos, which is, if you ask me, completely unobtainable. You may find the blueprints of its pieces in the last cache if you find all three caches in a sabotage or exterminate mission. To find the avionics blueprint, you need to play sabotage missions on Mercury, Venus and Mars. For Zephos engine's blueprint, you need to play sabotage missions on Jupiter, Saturn, Ceres or Lua. And to get the avionics blueprint, you need to play sabotage missions on Pluto, Sedna and Kua Forges or in the void. And listen to this now, the drop chance is about 0.5% if you find all the three caches. So good luck. The fourth landing craft is Parallax, which is one of the easiest to farm up really. You may find the blueprints of all three pieces, the fuselage, engines and avionics, by destroying reinforced carry pods in the halls of Zariman 10 Zero. These containers are not rare at all, but the drop chance is about 0.67%, so quite low, but besides that there is nothing really special here. And the last, the fifth landing craft to farm up is the Nightwave, the personal vehicle of Nora Knight, which you can get only from the Nightwave rewards. There is a chance there is one among the reward pool, but there's also a chance there is not, so farming it is not that reliable. We've gone over all 6 landing crafts, so now let's look at how to customize them. You may customize your landing craft by going to the menu, choosing equipment and then the orbiter at the bottom. After that you may decorate the inside of your landing craft with the first option, 
customize the inside colors of your orbiter with the orbiter appearance option or you may customize the outside of your landing craft with the third option. We are going to look at the third option the most because it is the most important. At the bottom you can color your landing craft as you wish, but above their colors there is a couple of other options. The first one is the landing craft. Under the landing craft you may also choose the skin of your landing craft if you have it, and a zoom dolly which is a little decoration at the nose of the ship. There is also the air support option which you get once you buy or craft the landing craft. Every single one of them has a different air support ability which is the only thing that makes them useful. I will not cover the abilities in this video though since it is not the end goal of it but I will soon make one to cover that. Be sure to go to the wiki and look up things yourself first. The question for the end of the video today is... Which landing craft is your favorite? My personal is Skimitar because a skin for it is so nice looking. But what is yours? Please tell me down in the comments. But with this, I thank you for watching and I wish you a nice day. Bye guys!